All right, Steve Burns here from Chromalusion.com. Just to follow up on Spencer's video. Um, okay, so there was another question in his comments which had to do with the resizing of these for both the render view and the viewport. So as an FYI, um, over here, with the particles submitted, with selected actually, and we go to the viewport and display we can resize the particles now that's not necessarily going to render all right so what you need to do is you need to go over to the render section and make sure you match the size that you have in the viewport display here under the render options okay so if I go to my camera view and we do a, a quick little render. All right. You're going to find that there's nothing there. Because you need an object. You need an object to render. So let me go ahead and close this out and, and share with you what I'm talking about. Let's go back to our, our perspective view and let's get an object. In fact, let's go here, shift right click, set the 3D cursor right in front of me. Shift A. Let's go over here to the mesh. And let's get the rock generator. And what I prefer to do is place in here a meteor. So preset asteroid there. Okay, so there's my asteroid. So I want this to be inside there. So if I want to if I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to just make it small for now so S key reduce the size about that much okay and what I'm going to do is hit the control A right and apply my scale and rotation okay all done now here's my particle let's go ahead and let the particles fall if I want that meteor to be to represent each of these particles select the particle come on down to the render section now you have halo right up here okay and I can instead of halo we can actually select an object okay now what object do I want or well, right under the object section I can get the eyedropper and select it and there are my meteors inside here okay all right so I'm gonna target the meteor resize it or reduce it right here okay so play with this go back to the emitter and make sure you kind of come around and play around with uh, the rotation options and and uh, the resizing options and so forth. So right here, an option for rotation, select it, drop down your menu, randomize your rotations. Okay, you can decide how to, you can randomize it here. And I'm going to play with this here dynamic and let's go ahead and, and see what we get there you go now you're getting various rotations of each of the each of the particles so play around with that play around with your sizing your rotation and so that's basically how you're gonna how you're gonna be able you can put other objects inside you can resize them and you just resize them right here get your original object because these are instances based on this object Okay, so if I if want to scale that larger or smaller or real small, we can do that. Okay, so hopefully that was helpful. More to come. Steve Burns from Chromalution.com signing off.